Welcome, everybody, to our very first uh, Julius Caesar campaign. Now, this is AoE 2 DE, so this is going to be us playing as the Romans. AoE 2 Romans, that is. And, uh, yeah, this is actually like part one and there's a part two. Uh, but there are seven scenarios here, so... We will have our work cut out for us quite a bit, and of course, th if you're watching these as they come out, thank you for waiting uh, a week. I was on vacation with my family, but I am back now, and it is time to see the Alpha. Caesar is dead, slain by the so-called liberators. They are naught but cowards and traitors to Rome. Many folk, uh, most especially Gauls, know Caesar as a great conqueror, but Caesar was much more than that. By the force of his will, he sought to end the tyranny and corruption of the Senate and create a central or create a government body that had a bigger representation of the people. Caesar was a youth uh, during the pinnacle of Roman politics. There's a great feud between the Optimates and the Populares. The Optimates believed in the power of the Senate, where the Populares believed in the power of the people. The Optimates had been victorious when Lucius Cornelius Sulla had marched in, uh, marched on Rome and declared dictator. Caesar was the nephew of Gaius Marius, Sulla's main opponent and the leader of the Populares. Caesar was forced into exile for several years until Sulla died and could return home. A young, ambitious statesman in Rome, Caesar started to play at politics. He had a grand opportunity to prove himself when stationed in Spain. Alrighty. Uh, Gaius Julius Caesar, your senate is appointing you as the governor of Spain. Your main priority is to produce a large sum of gold for Rome. Salve. If I am to achieve even half the fame of Alexander the Great achieved, I must be eligible to run for consul before my tenure as governor is up. I should start by seeing what I can do for the local villages. Alrighty. Actually, volume seems a little loud. I'm playing at 80% recently. Sorry, I'm indecisive sometimes. Uh, the Lusitani and Galas Galasi tribes of Iberia threatened the security of this province. I should conquer these tribes to achieve my first triumph. Right, got deep fish. Uh, all right, so achieve the rank of consul before the year 59 BC. Here is the same as 10 minutes game time. So, before uh, 100 minutes game time, I guess? Complete the secondary objectives to rank up. Visit villages to receive secondary objectives. Destroy the castles of the Iberian tribes. Each castle you destroy lets you rank up, so destroying all three castles will level up your rank three times, but you level up instantly after destroying each and individual castle. If I do 6,000 gold, this counts... Uh, oh, okay, so there's 6,000 gold in total. You are initially restricted to a population of 75, and you cannot train your unique unit. As you rank up, your population limit cap increases, and you can train your unique unit when you reach rank 6. You cannot advance to past the castle age. You are playing as the Romans. You are on a timer to complete this mission of roughly 100 minutes in-game. Yeah. If you're wondering why the timer is in this format, it's because there are so many second objectives. Uh, okay. Try to focus on completing side quests rather than defeating your enemies. As it turns out, many of the side quests require to attack and sometimes to defeat your enemies, but defeating your enemies will not automatically win you the mission. Your main opponent, the Iberian tribes, may attack you throughout the scenario, so be prepared for it. Uh, okay. Your scouts report. We are the Romans in Spain. And there are a few friendly villages. There are the Iberian tribes. There are the Irate Pirates. Uh, the Sertorian rebels, uh, are rogue soldiers who once fought for Quintus Sertorius. And the Mauritanians are peaceful subjects of Rome. Okay. Salve. So we get to enjoy the OP Romans. Okay, so there's a little bit of gold and stone with which to work. But we are only in the feudal age. Let's 
go ahead and take that boar. And let's just kind of get uh, get to grips with uh, what the heck it is we're doing. Right, that. But yeah, this seems interesting. Let's do that and just kind of see exactly what we have in store. Uh, nobody has a super high score. But yeah, we'll be making plenty of infantry and cavalry and scorpions in this campaign. Anyway, since we need to... Almost lost you. Yeah, since we need to collect gold, let's see if we can start trading. Okay, there's a relic. That'll be nice and helpful. Unyemus! Start getting that trading going. Okay, there's like a lot of stone right there. Okay, those are the good old Iberian tribes. Oh, I need a uh, blacksmith. Also some more houses. Just grab that and then click up. Uh, defeat the pirates. Alrighty. Oh, yeah, galley. Okay, those are the pirates. They are only in the feudal age. Oh, wait, yeah, we have to actually visit the villages. I like that they have you do this because... If you just get all of the side objectives at once, it's a little overwhelming. Just to try and figure out and remember everything. And you can more easily associate which side objective is connected to which town or whatever. Uh, relative prosperity. After Sertorius was killed, his veterans had turned into common brigands. Okay, those are... Oh, here are the brigands. Whoa, they have paladins and uh, heavy cav archers. Those are quite the brigands. We're going to want to get some castle age units for that. Oh, okay. Um. But we need to hit rank six. But what's our pop cap once we get rank six? We are initially restricted to a pop one of 75, but it doesn't... Oh, as you rank up. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll go for, like, Swordsman. Do I want to go for Navy just yet, though, if I can help it? Probably not. Anyway, the Roman Eco is pretty insanely good. Loyal client of Rome and your uncle Marius helped us against the Numidians. The Numidians have resumed their raids and we ask that you build a castle in our city for our protection. Alrighty, we can do that in a little bit. Um, actually... Wait, what? 
Oh, this is from when my hotkeys were reset for like the 10 billionth time. Uh, Doc. Or no, is it game commands? Military units. I don't know. Where does it say, like, more buildings? I don't know. I'll figure it out later. We only need to make, like, one transport ship, hopefully. Oh, yeah. Let's uh, check out what those other guys want. Because it makes sense that we do the objectives that we can accomplish peacefully first. Salve. Deliver two relics to our monastery. Okay, we can do that. So this is kind of like a, a Yodi 2 sort of thing. Which, although a little slow at times, I think Yodi 2 is a solid scenario. And it's a good first campaign scenario. So I love my Roman monks that don't have sanctity, but have, like, most of the other useful upgrades. Uh, build us four towers so you may defend yourselves. Okay, we can do that as well. Oops. Anyway, these guys are just in the feudal age for now, so I ain't too worried. Whoa! Okay, well, that doesn't mean you have my permission to run amok in my village like a bunch of hooligans. Got our extra attack and armor. Oh, whoops. Go ahead and build a castle over there. We can get back to mining a bit of stone. Okay. Keep searching around for the relic. Edifico. Edifico. Salve. I know this may seem a bit presumptuous, especially this early on in the scenario, but I don't need archers. <laughs> anyway, keep looking for the relic. Uh, there you are. Might as well get fervor. And then, uh, maybe we can take down those guys. No, let's get a few more units. We need to get more pop limit. Oh, 10 pop, actually, we get. Oh. We need houses for that population space. What a wild concept. Signed, a Hun player. <laughs> Oh, okay, the castle goes right away to their control. Okay, yeah. Once we get some more pikemen... Should be fine. Okay, the fishing ships are going to go down, but... We'll survive. Oh, okay. Um, let's add some more docks over here. Freaking annoying thingy. 
All right. Let's go for uh, these guys over here. Uh, okay, they, they are in the castle edge now. Uh, but they don't have very strong units. At least nothing we can't handle. Also, Caesar doesn't seem to benefit from any upgrades. Okay, keep looking for the relic. Again, our issue right now is mostly one of pop space. Let's see if you can convert a paladin. I'll take a paladin. I don't know for sure if we have to destroy the tower, but it's a watchtower. We can destroy it. Alrighty, let's just ward off these buffoons. I don't like to throw around the word buffoon lightly, but uh, that's these guys. Look for the other relic. Oh, don't be stuck. Anyway, yeah. The Oh, okay, you have some knights now, so your units are getting a little bit stronger, but still not that strong. Also, I like how these Iberian tribes have uh, the old Western European architecture set that Spanish used to have. It's like I didn't even notice it at first because it's you know what I'm originally used to. Uh, let's see if we can just scoot by here. I mean, they only have plus one, plus one in bloodlines. Okay. Let's get some better trade route set up. Oh, wait, here's the other relic. Okay. That we can manage. Um, convert 20 units. Okay. We can do this. That is what we are going to keep telling ourselves. Well, I guess we can start with some uh, random ships. Salve. Oh, don't you dare. <laughs> Random scout. Okay, so there are... <laughs> you doing okay there? Oh, wait. Hold on. That's a lot of gold. 
Mind some of that. Also, now let's try redocking again. That's all up and underway. Got the relics over. And we have achieved rank 5. Which is nice. Okay, hopefully, like, the one fire ship will be enough for the time being. Oh! Well, I guess we can just get guard tower. Also, I need more houses. Well, I guess those towers are buying a little bit of time. Oh, there's another relic. We still, I think, have to destroy some of those castles. Is it really an Ornlu campaign if I don't build at least uh, some extra ha town centers? Okay, that's 91 gold. Much better. Oh, they, they also have a relic there. But I don't think I need to take out anything, like, further inland. Set over here. Anyway, our Roman galleys are extra tanky. Oh, also, uh, they will benefit. I forget, do they benefit from ballistas anymore? Oh, well, they get two extra attack. Yeah, they used to fire faster, but then that was just, like, a rip-off of the Saracen bonus. So, the extra two attack, I think, works a lot better. It works with the, the theme of, like, the slow, tanky, powerful Roman ships. You get the extra armor and extra attack, but you don't get dry dock. Go ahead and get ballistics. Good, good old Roman gunpowder. Did you guys know that the Romans were famous for their gunpowder usage? I bet you didn't. All right, our gold income is steadily climbing. Yeah, we got a plus four attack already. Whoa. We'll make scorpions later. I don't really see the need to make them right now. As in, like, in other scenarios. Make 
sure that's going. Oh, whoops. Yeah, it's some more barracks at least. And once we defeat these rather irate pirates, we can go ahead and uh, make some centurions. And in, in addition to just being super OP in their own right, centurions uh, will buff up our swordsmen. Get after bloodlines and husbandry. Oh yeah, you bet we're crushing these ships. Yeah, these guys do a lot of damage. Excuse me, I forgot to mute myself. Yeah, yeah, come up here. Awesome! Centurion's away! Oh, I got the, the gold. I thought I had defeated the pirates for a moment. I was playing an arena team game not that long ago, and I, I was with T West, and we were doing okay on our side in the 4v4, but on the other side, uh, our my other pocket was uh, a Persian's player, and he was matched up against a Roman player, and it was just Centurions versus Paladins, and uh, I felt really bad. <laughs> it was not a very fair fight. Ah! I'm a pro Praetor. Uh, attack, please. Hello. Wait, what? Oh! All right. I'm probably not going to be able to convert all those units. I mean, like I could, but that seems like it would take a long time. Oh, there's another relic, so there are plenty of relics. Yeah, our army's doing a good amount of damage here. Onward and upward. Don't think I need you, clowns. Um, it's more gold over there. I guess the smart thing to do would be to like start on one side and then go to the other, but uh, I'm not very smart, am I? Huniemus. Huniemus. 
Oh, we can try and go for conversions. But my army's just gonna kill them all so quickly. I mean, all it takes is one Centurion man nearby, and uh, those swordsmen are getting strong. Swordsmen just zoom around everywhere. We are now the Consul. Eligible to run for Consul. Oh. I got nine? My rise to greatness begins today. Alexander. Who? <laughs> the people will be shouting the name Caesar or something something. <laughs> Alexander. Who? While Caesar was in Spain, he crushed uh, two Iberian tribes in battle and he was hailed as uh, Imperator by his men. This victory shadows in comparison to Caesar's other victories, but this proved to the Senate that Caesar was a competent statesman. The Senate was content, but also weary of the new young talent. Caesar returned to Rome in 59 BC, where he had the chance to run for consul, the highest and most senior role in government. Caesar was uh, determined to become the next Alexander the Great, and he jumped at the opportunity. Very good. Solid start th to the campaign. Don't really think we're uh, missing a whole lot on the map. I'll say Iberia looks very green. But hey, we got it done. Oh, this is a nice little fountainy area. Oh, there's another relic over there we could have gotten, and another relic over there, so there is no shortage of relics. Alrighty, guys, that was The Alpha, and next up will be Strong Border Policies. See you guys next time for that one.